Hey guys, VBad here with another V plays, and we are flying the Whirlaway. I think I'm saying that correctly. We'll find out. Uh, this is going to be derivative of a Aboriginal word meaning challenge. So this was developed by the Australian um, aircraft company, the CAC, and it was meant to be a training platform. And it has a very, very long wing. And coincidentally enough, this eventually was converted into the boomerang fighter we see in game which meant they changed the wing but i think that wing looks a lot more like a boomerang in my opinion so it's a little bit ironic to me uh this aircraft was a request by somebody i typically don't like flying these low tier aircraft too much but somebody asked me hey can you show the whir away and this aircraft carries four 250 pound bombs that are cumulatively going to have the same damage output as my P-47's bombs at tier 6. So that's pretty good, right? Drop one there. One here. Oh, somebody crashed. Turn, turn, turn. I should have saved some of those bombs. There we go. Whew. So this thing only has two Browning 303 machine guns that are going to be synchronized with the propeller right here. And then it's got another tail gunner right here, which it even looks like it's a lackluster gun sitting in the back. Uh, the bombs reload, eh, it's like 80 seconds. But we get to, it's 83 seconds because we actually got to put on the strength and hard point to reduce the reload right off the bat. And we also get to throw the consumable, oh, don't, don't, don't make me do it. Okay, good. Tail gunner up. Not a lot, but it'll help. Okay. It can do some pretty good stall turns, just like most ground attack aircraft, but its forward armament having 60 damage a second seems like it's not very strong, but it seems to do all right to me. So this air defense aircraft right here, which is a fairly thin-skinned light fighter, we're not, we're not like deleting an airplane, but we are causing some pretty decent damage. The other nice thing about this is you see this ground target right here? Bonk! That'll be enough to be able to take that whole section. There we go. I'm actually going to save these bombs because we're just trying to interrupt their... military facility if we can. I'm going to just go for it. 208 miles an hour seems slow, but at tier 3 it's actually pretty decent speed. It, it's not super fast, but it's decent speeds. Is that the human... It is not the human. Words mean things. Um, would love to be able to just chuck this bomb on that site. Can I get it? That should be enough to be able to grab this big section of ground target right here. Yeah, it was. Nice. All right. Mortal Kombat. Nose up, rudder over, and it's the battle of the butterflies, like whales. Come on. Uh, I can go slower than you. We both have huge wings. Uh. It's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, the bomb's pretty good. Um, I was impressed by them. And I was actually looking at the uh, damage characteristics of the bombs. And they're the same ones you get on the Blenheim. Uh, of course, the Blenheim reloads very, very rapidly. And if you were to choose between this or the Blenheim bomber, I think the Blenheim bomber is going to be a much better option. Much better results. Uh-oh. Get off my buddy. Just you wait till I get my bombs back. 
No, 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 no. Don't look at me. Uh, this is not the plane you want to shoot at. I got his engine. Ooh. Come on, anything else I can get off of him? Uh, pilot. Cool, that's good. That'll give me some survivability. Just trying to keep him in the firing arc here. Of course, we are taking some damage here, and... We didn't get the kill, but that's okay. I got my bombs back, and I would love to be able to just drop on some targets now. That's what I'm here to do. You keep your flak out of here, man. I'm not interested. Punk. Did that not do it? Alright, for good measure. Drop these two. Sweet. Doing pretty good, actually. Doing pretty good. We have complete control of the skies. Yeah, we do, buddy. We're already at our max altitude, but that's to be expected. There's not much left for me to do. I think I bombed myself out of a job again. Eh, 8800 ain't bad, but Gertson's probably going to be able to build up some pretty decent points at this stage. Because he can still tussle a little bit. No, nope, didn't quite happen for him. Good game. Uh, yeah, we did fairly well. Um, but yeah, somebody was asking for me to fly the plane and showcase it. Again, it's a tier 3, so I'm probably not going to be hopping in it too much, but the uh, Blenheim Bomber is going to do... It's going to fare much better for you in the long run because it has such a fast bomb reload and it has the same bombs that if you're just looking to get ground damage at the lower tiers, the Blenheim is going to be the right answer. It's just so much more consistent and it allows you to be able to get some missions done very, very quickly. Uh, but... Is the Whirlaway good or bad or whatever? I think it's a solid performer for a ground attacker. Um, at tier 3, it's got some firepower that can still tease some enemy aircraft that are, you know, nose up. 12.3 second turn time is nothing to turn your nose up at, uh, especially when this thing turns its nose up at you. And it can do some pretty decent stall turns, which is pretty typical of these ground attack aircraft and that's essentially when you kick the nose nearly straight up and you either hit the mouse to the side or if you have rudder controls rudder over to his side and the aircraft just kind of falls off of its own tail like if you were to picture balancing the aircraft on its tail and then just letting it fall one way as you lift your hand up it just whoosh, flips over so you can do like a quick 180 and that's the nice advantage that this plane has uh, we were top scorer on the team, but you guys saw that already. For ground damage, we managed to take out uh, eight ground targets, four medium, and then two medium armored ground targets, and then that special ground target over at the enemy's military facility. We did kill three aircraft, and we got some pretty decent crits. A ton of crits on that P-35, but again, we are running bow fighter gunner, which means that we got six points to play with and then we're also running the hunter pilot in order to get that demo expert procking so yeah that's it is a crew trainer so you can put whoever you want in here so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this battle uh and i enjoyed doing it for you based on the request let's do there we go no fighter let's pull up the uh boomerang Oop. Yeah, like I said, they're based on the same design. You can even tell by that weird little wheel well in the front. The Whirlaway and the Boomerang. They eventually converted them into this airframe later down the road uh, to make it more of a combat variant. But you can see the wings significantly shorter. I just wanted to show that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Catch you on the next one.